So while the Basic Education Department is celebrating a record-breaking 88% matric pass rates among candidates who wrote the National Senior Certificate exams last year, Minister Sifio Kwahube says that the country is still failing to produce enough learners with strong mathematical skills. Only 34% of the more than 900,000 candidates who took the subject last year, or in fact only 34% of the 900, more than 900,000 candidates who wrote matric last year, actually took maths. That's down from 38% in 2024. The minister is also worried about the pass rate for mathematics, which stands this year or for 2025 at 64 percent. Let's take this further then, bring into the conversation Professor Mamukheti Paking, a seasoned academic, as well as former vice chancellor of the University of Cape Town. Good to have you on the program, Prof, in the new year. I don't know if we're still saying Happy New Year, but it's great to have you on the SABC. Uh, first things first, so the problem is twofold here, right? You've got the max pass rate that is down but also enrollment, if you will, or uptake for mathematics was also down among the class of 2025. Should we be worried? Actually, the uptake is higher. What's low is the proportion of the learners taking mathematics in the cohort of 2025. We, the uptake was higher by 3,000, but that's minimal if you look at the complete number, okay? So, but the big crisis is the fact that the students who take mathematics in the cohort is lower. Oftentimes, people talk about this as a maths crisis. And I think it's not a maths crisis. South Africa does not have a mathematics crisis because learners, it's, it's, it's because we, we, we've got everything that, it, that we, we can use to make sure that we succeed. What we have is a pipeline crisis, an incentive and capability crisis. That's how I would frame the problem that we have. It's not, it's not that we, we can't, and I can talk more about what I mean by that. The problem actually starts at the foundation phase from grade R to, to six. That's where the damage starts, okay? Mm -hmm. And what's going wrong there is that we've got weak numeracy and number sense in earlier grades. In those grades, the weak, and numer weak numeracy and number senses. And if you have that, it's gonna show up as learners grow up. And then we also have um, a situation where learners grade seven, reaching grade seven, already afraid of mathematics because some of the teachers, and note, I didn't say all, I said some of the teachers lack deep mathematics confidence. Right. And if you're taught by a teacher who lacks deep mathematics co confidence, then obviously they'll pass that on to learners and learners become afraid of mathematics before they even okay. try it. On that and note, so we've got to think about what do we do in that case? Mm. I, I want us to get solutions in a moment, but on what you raise about the teaching yes. and let's say the low mathematical confidence then among the people who are supposed to be teaching uh, the children and hopefully all the way to matric, what is the cause of that issue at a teaching level? But by the way, the issue of the low mathematics confidence does not only come from teachers. There's a societal problem in, in South Africa. There's a, there's a sense that um, comes with when you talk about mathematics that people think it is okay to say how bad you were in mathematics. It doesn't matter how big you are now, how successful you are. People are much more comfortable to talk about how, how incapable they were in mathematics. They never do that with any subject. So that's where the, the fear comes from. And then some teachers, some teachers, you know, when we teach um, teachers, uh, train teachers for foundation phase, there is no specialization. Foundation phase teachers have to teach everything. Whether you like maths or not, you're going to teach it. And you get there, you don't only teach maths, you teach everything else. And I think we've got to read think that and that's why you can have some teachers lacking deep math mathematics confidence it's because if they had a choice some of them wouldn't choose it some would choose it and maybe we've got to specialize even at, at, at foundation phase grade r to six teachers who are specialist numeracy teachers mathematics teachers at, at, at foundation phase and so that they come in with the confidence and excitement that even if there's low confidence out there and negativity about mathematics out there the learners can can own the mathematics and know that they can do it mm -hmm. and professor Pageng, there's also the issue of quality versus quantity because even the the minister Sifu Kwahube, last night was saying that's important in fact across the entire basic education um, system so it's one thing right for us to want to increase the number 
number of children who take mathematics all the way to grade 12. But if the outcomes aren't of the highest quality, then perhaps we need to have a different conversation. Yeah. So how do we weigh the two when they're both um, so equally desired, if you, can, if you will? Yeah, and I think that's where the solutions come in. We've got to add grade R to six. We've got to introduce mandatory numeracy master, mastery benchmarks in grade three and grade six, where there is no social promotion without basic number competence. Okay, so 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 we don't just want quantity, but we want quality. So we, we at the moment we don't have those uh, um, uh, benchmarks. So we really don't know until the children get to grade twelve. That's when we get wow. So this is how bad we are. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also, as I said, we need to introduce specialist foundation based maths teachers and not generalists like we have at the moment. And then we've got to, we've got to continue with the continuous teacher upskilling in mathematics pedagogy, not once of where workshops, but workshops that teachers can continue to be skilled. I mean, if you go into any industry, let's just say take, take tech, which grows so fast. Um, the young people who work in the tech industry uh, uh, will tell you that they've got to get credits every year. If they don't get credit, there's no bonus, there's no promotion. Mm -hmm. they've got I think we're starting to lose our line. Professor Pageng, uh, apologies, we'd lost our connection to you, but as, as a parting shot, and maybe you can finish your point that you wanted to make, I wanted to ask you then about schools that are deliberately, in fact, uh, discouraging children from taking mathematics in the higher grades in the hope that that will then boost their performance as a school in the matric results, because that too was flagged in the presentation last night. Absolutely. That problem is flagged, flagged every year. So it doesn't help just to flag it. Here's a solution. We've got to start introducing incentives to incentivize schools. Incentivize schools for increasing maths enrollment. Incentivize schools for retaining learners in mathematics through to grade 12. And then publicly report school level mathematics participation, not just pass rates. And then stop rewarding schools for hiding weak learners in mathematics literacy. Professor Mamukhe Dipagin, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for making time to be on SABC News tonight.